Hiroshi Oto is the President and Chief Operating Officer at Fuji Saka Communications International Incorporated, a wholly owned subsidiary of Fuji Media Holdings Incorporated, Japan's largest media conglomerate. Other FMH subsidiaries include Fuji Television, Japan's top-rated television network, Nippon Hoso, one of Japan's most popular radio networks, Pony Canyon, a major video and music company, and Dino's, a lifestyle marketing pioneer. FCI represents FMH companies in North America, Europe, and Africa. In 1966, Mr. Oto's keen interest in journalism and American culture brought him to Missouri Valley College, where he studied economics. At the time, few Japanese studied abroad. He received a Bachelor of Science in Economics in 1967. He then attended the University of Missouri, where he studied journalism. Mr. Oto returned to Sayo University in 1969 and received a Bachelor of Arts. Also in 1969, Mr. Oto joined Fuji Television Networks as a news researcher. His fluency in English allowed him to serve as an assistant director on Apollo 11's special report. In 1972, he traveled to New York to report on the U.S. presidential election campaigns of Richard Nixon and George McGovern. Later in the 1970s, Mr. Oto produced a series of documentaries about Japanese who had succeeded abroad. He was inspired by an American-born uncle who became a successful Los Angeles businessman and mentor to young Japanese Americans. Mr. Oto also created the popular FNN News program that continues to this day. When it premiered, FNN News caused a sensation by airing interviews with billionaires, retired politicians, and others who rarely appeared on television. The ratings were excellent. Mr. Oto also helped create Hiraki Ponkiki, a children's series that remains extremely popular. From 1985 to 1990, Mr. Oto served as Fuji Television's New York Bureau Chief and Lead Correspondent. Mr. Oto returned to Tokyo in 1990, where he spearheaded Fuji's coverage of the first Gulf War. In 1994, Mr. Oto was promoted to the head of Fuji Television's news department, directing a staff of some 200. He increased the news audience and revenues. In 1997, Mr. Oto was elected to Fuji Television's Board of Directors, becoming the network's youngest officer ever. Three years later, Mr. Oto was elected an executive managing director. He traveled extensively, arranging one-on-one -on -one interviews with Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. Mr. Oto built strategic partnerships with China's CTTV, Korea's NBC, and other Asian television companies. Mr. Oto and his wife live in New York. They have a son and daughter both living in Tokyo. I have relatives living in California. My Uncle George and Auntie Sakai are Chani on the successful trading company in Los Angeles. They believe all young Japanese should learn English to succeed in this world. My uncle and aunt wanted me to study at Missouri Valley College because the students were almost all American. I would have to learn English. There were 700 students at the time at Missouri Valley College, but only one Japanese, me. I'm grateful to my aunt and the uncle. Missouri Valley College is in the Midwest, which is very American. And I, I came to Missouri Valley College, everything was new for me. I love dorm life. Children live in a small room near each other. Everyone was so friendly. Five or six of us would stay up all night talking about the Vietnam War or something else. It was so fun. At first, my English was poor, yet my classmates asked me to for help with math and economics homework. That made me feel good, confident. I ended up with B plus in economics, so I was happy and proud of it. But religion and the literature were so difficult. Well, Missouri Valley College helped me to learn English. More importantly, Missouri Valley College allowed me to understand Americans and the culture here. During school breaks, my friends invited me to their homes in St. Louis and Kansas City. A women's club in Marshall invited me to lunch. Because of this kindness, I experienced the traditional American way of life. I learned that Americans are straightforward, honest, optimistic, and outgoing. I loved every minute of it. 
as an international journalist working at Japanese top-rated TV network, I covered some of the most important stories of the 20th century, including the first moon landing, American presidential elections, the fall of the Berlin Wall. In addition, I worked on an exclusive interview with President Reagan, President Clinton, and President George W. Bush. Well, I set up interviews with Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. Well, since the time I was, I, since the time I was at Missouri Valley College, I looked up to Walter Cronkite. I thought he was one of the world's greatest journalists. In the 1980s, I visited Mr. Cronkite in his office at CBS. I was nervous and called him sir. But he said, don't call me sir. We are both journalists. We are both in the same boat. Call me Walter. That made me feel so good to hear Walter Cronkite. We are equal. I never forget his voice and his smile. I have lived in the United States for almost 16 years. My aunt and uncle sent me to Missouri Valley College with the hope that I will help to strengthen the U.S.-Japanese partnership. In the future, I'd like to develop a project that further understanding between the United States and Japan and bring our two countries closer together. Well, my advice for students and alumni is to understand how the whole world is interconnected. For instance, the terrible drought that devastating the farmland around Missouri Valley College is affecting the price of beef and milk in Tokyo. I have sent a reporter to Missouri to explain the drought to our Japanese viewers. So please just to learn to think more globally and that everything is connected.